Could this be the most important podcast you will ever hear? I think it is, but just added that could it be just in case there's a better one? Or, um, sorry, it's not a case of being better. It's the most important one because today, my friends, I am going to break the truth to you. I am going to change your world. If you listen to these, if you listen to marketing and business podcasts, I am going to change your world. And I'm not going to try and sell you anything, but I'm going to put it as it is. If you don't like tough love, if you don't want to hear the reality, if you want to live in la la land, if you want to waste your money, then don't bother listening. Let me explain. So, I, my name is John Butt. This is the Marketing for Owners podcast. Yes, it's got marketing in, and yes, I have a product at theownersclub.co, but that is not the point of this. This is actually not about me, but it will involve, I'll, I'll use myself as an example, because the chances are, you're listening to my podcast and you're getting a bit of inspiration and you're getting some tips and you're getting some help. But what I want to know is simple question. What have you done with that information? How is your business doing? Now, obviously, uh, it's going to (laughs) be not going to get any replies because there's no one here to be able to talk to me. I, and just if you're wondering, by the way, this is a video. If you want to see the video, if you're thinking the sound's a bit odd, uh, that's because it's breezy because I'm on the beach. I am in a town called Deal, D-E-A-L, in Kent in England. Uh, if you go to marketingforowners.com slash podcast slash 676, you'll be able to see the video and you'll be able to see how windy it is because even though I've got short hair, I can't get my hair down. And yes, I'm sitting on the beach and it's lovely and sunny on a Monday afternoon, first day of Wimbledon, and it's not raining in England despite being Wimbledon. Anyway, back to this. So, in this is episode 676 of my podcast. So that means I have recorded 675. And as if you follow these, you'll probably realize that uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, I record a quick 10 minute one. On Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and Friday, I interview a top fabulous person from around the business or internet world to uh, give you information or a bit of inspiration. Now, you may, or a lot of people ask me, how do you come up with all the ideas? What do you talk about if you've done that many? How, what do you talk about? Well, let me tell you, because I concentrate on the areas that you need to know, which is, which is basically to, the, the whole concept is I'm trying to help you make your business easier and to encourage you to get going if you haven't. And the way to make it easier is to make it easy to get new customers and clients. I can assure you, after being in business for 33 years, yeah, working for me in various businesses, (coughs) getting customers is the most important thing. Without a customer, without a client, there is no business. I don't care about your website. I don't care about your staff. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. I don't care about your money. If you can have all of those things, but without a customer paying a bill, you have no business. There is nothing, nothing to do. So business customers come first. Staff, by the way, come a very, very close second, like like milli, milliseconds, nanoseconds. Um, But you need customers. So I try and make that easier. So I talk around a bunch of uh, various areas. Now, I don't run out of things to say because once I've said it all and covered it, I go back, look at what I've recorded before, and I say it all again. I don't just copy. I do these. These are ad-libbed. Look, no hands, no, um, uh, what do you call those, autocue. I don't actually, never even tried an autocue ever. Sometimes I have notes, but not today. So I go back and I talk about the same subjects again. Now there might be another little bit from my experience, but it's the same and I recycle and then I'll talk about them again and then again and again. Now, if you've listened to all of these, 
what I want to ask you is, what are you doing? Still listening to them. What have you done with the information? Now, I am going to have a go at internet marketers here very, very clearly because I've told you everything you need to know. I've explained that if you want to know more, you can get me online for free with no obligation, no sales pitch, a kind of office house thing at, and you can still do this, marketingforowners.com slash free time. Just go there, book a half hour slot with me. If you think I'm rubbish, if I don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> you know, it didn't cost you a penny. Half an hour of your life gone. Uh, I, I'll even refund the, the nothing that you paid. But on the other hand, I might be able to help and put you in the right direction because I not only have done all this stuff, so I only talk about what I've actually done. Um, in addition to having done it, I do it every single day. Right now, as of the date is uh, oh, 3rd of July, I think, Monday the 3rd of July. Um, and this is actually the Monday. I'm recording this in the middle of the afternoon. I'm right in the middle of setting up a new business um, at uh, a new business in the uh, safety arena. And, and it's, this is major. We're trying to add about a couple of thousand new products, right? And also with my son. So as of, as of right now, the website is, uh, is, will be created, is being created and coded this week. So if you went and looked, you'd find nothing. But bluecoffeebox.com is our new business. Now, I already have multiple businesses. And you think, oh, all your staff do that. Well, in the coffee one, it's me and Harvey. And Harvey, bless him, is at school. Good lad that he is. So it's us. Yes, we will outsource some stuff. But the rest of it, the real business, the thinking, the setup, we do it. We do this. And when you listen to internet marketers, when you listen and you buy their products and you get on their webinars, because that webinar is where they're going to sell you something, that is the most effective sales tool. Trust me, by the end of the webinar, that webinar is designed to make you think they are wonderful, which they probably are, and that their product uh, that they needed the product that they then devised themselves. And here it is, you have a one-off chance at a 50% discount or whatever it is at the end, a special price, only available at this webinar. There are no replays, etc. Oh, and look, so-and-so's bought. Oh, and notice they'll keep you on there for an hour after they finished the, the explanation and tell you about everyone who's buying. But let me tell you something. Some of this is made up. Oh my gosh, really, John? Yes, many, like many of these people have good products, but most of them do not do the doing. They are very, very good at selling products to people like you, unsuspecting, and they make their money doing that because when they have a product, an info product, bit of software, there is no cost, it's all profit. Uh, my business, we sell things like fire extinguishers. Some of them weigh 15 kilos. We send them out every day and we have to buy them in. There is a cost. We have a warehouse. I have staff in an info business, in the marketing for owners business. There's no real staff. I mean, I have some vir a virtual team, but they're only paid for what they do. So the costs are minimal. And that's the way it goes. So when you are taking business advice online, quite often they'll get you in the moment, they'll get you excited. They are following a formulaic approach. Get on TV, uh, turn your TV on and watch an insanity, insanity video or one of those fitness videos or a Nutribullet video. And at the end of it, I can assure you, you want whatever it is they're selling, whether you're gonna use it or not. And most people never use it. So I'm gonna try not to, uh, not to ramble on, but I want to belabor the point. The, the statistics at Udemy, Udemy published thousands, tens of thousands of courses that people pay for. 8% of people complete the courses on Udemy. This is from Udemy themselves. 
percent. <coughs> so the rest of the people either didn't start in the first place or started and didn't finish. That, my friend, is wasting money, wasting time, procrastination. Everyone is looking for the magic, the magic formula to make things easier. And let me, let me tell you this, there isn't one. This is tough. Business is hard. So when you hear about someone who was one who, got, who ran up credit card debts, they were $100,000 in debt. Now, first of all, let's question that. $100,000 in debt on credit cards or in debt? What kind of idiot racks up that on credit cards at 30% interest? Do you really think they did? How were they paying this? That means they're paying $30,000 a year in, in interest. How did that happen? And then miraculously, they became a fantastic business person. So from 100 grand in debt, sleeping on the floors, sofa surfing, sleeping on family's couch, friends, you know, whatever, sleeping in their car, to suddenly this miraculous div thing they came up with. Now, one or two of them actually did do that, but generally, no, they did not. There, some of these people um, that have that succeed are brilliant. They are just genius. And but you want to be like them? No, it's not going to work. You might want to be. Uh, the, he didn't claim any of that. But you might want to be like Gary Vaynerchuk, say in social media. Gary Vaynerchuk is a genius. Nobody, all the evidence, everything he's ever done has been out there to be like him. I've never heard of anyone being like Gary Vaynerchuk. Give it up. Gary Vaynerchuk himself says, if when he's asked, he doesn't read any books, he doesn't listen to any podcasts, he does not learn from anybody, he doesn't take any courses, he just gets out there and does it. How about trying that yourself? All right? Some people are genius, but they've now moved on to making money by helping people to make money. The people they help to make money never make money because if you had it in you, you'd be doing it. The information is all there for free online somewhere. It's been there for years. It's the same. Facebook and Twitter were not around when I started. Still out of business. They're there now. Yeah, we use them. Has it made any difference to the business? No. Forget it. Yeah, enjoy yourself on social media, but sell things, sell products, get a product, get a service, sell it to real people, real people. Notice that a lot of, uh, a lot of these businesses make their money by uh, bumping up the prices to say a couple of thousand dollars for something and then offering it to super affiliates and giving them 50% commission. So they go and sell it to you telling you how wonderful it is. These people are brilliant. They don't use this product because they're already brilliant. They don't need it but they're telling you how wonderful it is and they're taking a thousand dollars commission. I want you to understand that. I want you to stop learning. You are fantastic. You are brilliant. You know enough. You know it all. If you want to know how to build a business, you need your own idea. You need your own inspiration. Nobody can give it to you. If you haven't got that, you haven't got a hope. You probably have got it. You're probably overthinking it. Of all the books, The E-Myth Revisited and Built to Sell, those two will do it. If you read those two, that would teach you everything you need to know about running a business. If you want to run a subscription business, get uh, automatic customer. There are tons of other books, lovely books, thousands, millions of downloads, millions of sales, but those two teach how to run a business. All the rest is theoretical. It's not, it's not going to help you. You can follow those, but get to work. So with that, um, oh, you, let me just point out, yes, I did say I sell a product. So theownersclub.co. That is going to sit there. Now, if you go to that, if you join it, it costs £29 a month. What's that, $35? So, and, and you can pay month by month and you can have your money back anytime if you don't like it. So you can go test it. But don't you worry. This, I make my money selling fire safety gear. That is designed to pay the costs of running the website. It costs money to run a website and put the content there, etc., etc. Not a lot, but it costs some. 
So if you go there, we start you off with foundation, everything you need to know, step by step, clip by clip, uh, through build, putting a website together, that will make you money. Then go through the process of setting up a, a lead generation and client generation system. And then go through the process of collecting referrals from those clients after you sold them your product. And then beyond that, that's in the modernization uh, stage, the middle one. Then the last one is growth, where we give you the tactics to improve on that. And that's it. That's a business in a box. There you go. So uh, end of sales pitch. Although, oh, sorry, go to www.theownersclub.co. There you go. But... I found that when people join that, many don't follow the steps. Many think, oh, I'll do it my way. But that's, that's the thing. That's where a lot goes wrong. I'm only telling you, I don't have to tell you, I'm only telling you because I know what will work in the easiest way. My businesses, the new ones are just starting, apply the stuff I teach. Now, it might use a different website for, platform because these are e-commerce business. One's a subscription, one sells to consumers, the other's an e-commerce sells to businesses. But it's all the same theory. And I learnt it by doing it. And I teach what I've learned. I myself have business that puts will put three million pounds. It's about I don't know, four and a half million dollars through our business this year. Last year and the years before that, we put two million pounds through our bank account every year. You might ask, oh, how come it's suddenly gone to three? Because I finally figured how to jump to the next level. And that's through doing it, doing it, doing it, not through learning. I have tried to stop learning because I know enough and I have people around me who know enough. You are much better at this than you think. You truly are. The fact that you want to get a business, the fact that you've got that far is much further than anyone else. You've got the tools. If you are not doing it, anything else you're doing, you are procrastinating and you are going to fail. Or you are going to be miserable and in debt and not making any money or profits for the next few years. Do you want to do that? Or would you be better off with a job working for someone else who's going to pay the taxes, who's going to pay you every month on time, who's going to provide a building, training, and facilities and opportunities perhaps who knows uh, but or did you want to really do this yourself the other thing is I you're not really an entrepreneur you're a self-employed or a small business owner try getting that you don't need to build a big business you can just work for yourself and do that you don't have to have the pressure of building a big business but you need to make a profit you need to support yourself and support a family and you are not going to do that by listening ad infinitum to people like me as we go on and on and more importantly most of the other people out there sorry not most many of the other people out there and how can you tell have never built a business they do not have a clue how to look at a profit and loss account how to look at a balance sheet they don't tell you anything about cash flow they don't know how to run a business because they haven't actually built one. They're working from home, they've got some outsourcers, they put together a course and they're making a, almost 100% profit selling them. And are you going to be the mug who buys it? Yeah, be careful who you listen to. There are some that actually run real businesses still. There are some that sold their businesses their real business when they discovered how much money they can make selling you info products and courses and promises of the mega money. Look at me, look at my car, look at this Lamborghini, look at this. My friend, they rent the car in the image. They rent it or they take a photo of them standing next to someone else's car. Honestly, you think, no. Yeah, they do. What do they do in a house? They rent the house and then take photos in it. People do this for photo shops in magazines. They rent hotels and suites and houses for photo shoots. So do people on the internet. They photoshop the bank statements. They photoshop the commission checks. 
just assume that. Find someone, if you're gonna follow someone, find someone who's got a real business. And I mean a real business, seven or eight figures or more. Look for the proof and then follow them. But the chances are, if they're making that much money, why would they need to? If, if it's that easy, why'd they need to make a load doing something else? Just question that. Anyway, that's about it. Otherwise, I could be accused of rambling on and on. So, this podcast, as of now, episode 676, I am going to do what I say. I am putting this on hiatus. I'm going on hiatus. It is on pause. All the podcast episodes, all the website at marketingforowners.com. It's all going to stay there. It's all there. But all the information is already there. I am not recording anymore. Someone might be able to tempt me in the future, but it will be months. Just if you come to this, go back and start at the beginning and listen to them. The early ones were the best because in those days, I told you what I thought you should hear first. There you go. Everything's on the website, but it's all out there. If you want to get information from me or some advice, just go to marketingforowners.com slash free time, book your free half an hour, and I will help you for free. I will not try and sell you anything. If you want to be sold, I do do one-on-one consulting, but not a lot, (laughs) not a lot, because I like running my businesses. So this is it. That's the score. That is the truth. You will not hear it from many. It is the truth. Much on the internet is a scam. It's generally peddled by people who've never done it. They've just read about it. It sounds like a great idea and they are good at selling information and good at teaching. You, my friend, need to get started. Get started, do it. Don't worry what goes wrong. Keep your main job, do it on the side. Just start and then take it from there. So that's me. John Butt, here in Deal, or in Canada, I might be on the other end, because I still go backwards and forwards. Over and out, you know how to find me. You can always email me at john, spelt J-O-N, at marketingforowners.com. I'll always be around. See you soon, my friend.